Bruce here from Fort Low Life. I uh, read a little bit online the other day of somebody uh, getting into a situation where they uh, didn't have steering and didn't have braking control because they were on slippery surfaces and it made me realize that not everybody is taught how to control their vehicle when you are on slippery surfaces such as snow and ice, hard packed snow. Thought I'd do a quick little video explaining a little bit about threshold braking, what it is, how it works, when to use it, when you need to use it, and how to use it. So i uh, done a couple little skid slides in my Land Cruiser here and I'm going to show you the difference between ABS, threshold braking, and slamming on the brakes. So in the Land Cruiser, uh, you may notice when you, when you go into four low or if you have the center diff lock button, when you engage that, your center diff lock light comes on, but also your ABS light comes on. If I disengage that, it comes back off. So when that ABS light is on and your center diff is locked, you do not have ABS. When you do not have ABS and you stomp on the brake pedal and you're on a slippery condition uh, road, hard packed snow, ice, you will lock up all four wheels. And when you lock up all four wheels, you will not be able to steer and you will not. If you take a look outside, we got snow and underneath it, I promise you, there's hard packed ice. So what are you going to do? If you're not in four low, your ABS will be on, drive like normal. Mash that pedal to the floor as hard as you can when you want to stop. The ABS will take over. It's going to do it faster than you can do it. Just run with the ABS. You'll still be able to steer. You'll still be able to do everything. Now, you're out wheeling. You're on a trail that's hard packed snow with ice underneath it. That's basically what I'm on right here beside my shop. This is my shop. When you're on hard packed snow that gets slippery, or when you're on hard packed snow over top of ice or just ice, when you slam on the brakes without the ABS on, you lose your steering because your wheels are skidding. If you don't have traction to stop, you're not going to have traction to steer. In order to gain your steering back, you need to let off the brakes a little bit. Just a little bit, just enough that you regain that small amount of traction that you need to steer. It's a lot easier to steer than it is to stop. So, smarty pants, you're saying, how do I do that? Well, it's pretty easy. If you don't have your ABS on and you need to threshold brake, you want to brake as hard as you can without locking up the wheels. As soon as you feel a wheel slipping or you're sliding, curl your toes up. That's just going to lift up on the pedal enough that you're going to release that wheel that's locked up. Then you've got to continue doing this. After you've curled your toes up, try applying a little bit more brake. If it locks up again, curl your toes up. What you're not doing is lifting all the way off the pedal. That's pumping the brakes. Every time you pump the brakes, you take your foot off the brakes, you have no braking. Then you go back to locked up wheels. Then you have no braking. Then you go back to locked up wheels. You're not doing anything. Threshold braking is just holding it at the point right before the wheels lock up. This is maximizing any effect of braking that you have. It's allowing you to still steer and it's gonna slow you down as quickly as possible. If you're really good at threshold braking, you can actually stop faster than you can with ABS. ABS will lock, unlock, lock, unlock, lock, unlock really fast. Threshold braking, you're riding right at the limit of what the tires can, can grab on the road.
If you have ABS, you match the pedal to the floor. Now it's not as easy as it looks the first time. So what you really need to do is go out and practice. Practice somewhere safe, somewhere flat, somewhere where there's nothing around, okay? The first few times you do this, you're going to lock up the brakes. You do need to turn the ABS off. If you can't disable ABS in your vehicle, you don't need to do this because you have ABS. Mash the brake pedal to the floor as hard as you can and hold it there. Go out, try it somewhere safe, practice it so that when you need it, it's second nature. The interesting thing for me, the very first time I tried to shoot that video, when I tried to lock up the wheels, I actually threshold brake, I let off. And I was trying to demonstrate skidding. So that's how ingrained it is in my brain to do that. That's what you want. You don't want to have to think about it. You want to automatically do it. And you will, as long as you practiced. So get out there, have fun, practice it, learn it, make it second nature, and it'll work for you. One other quick tip. Look where you want to go. If there's a cliff or a tree or a car or a rock and you don't want to hit it, don't look at it. Look where you want to go. Seems weird? Trust me. Try it. Well, I hope that got uh, some information to somebody. If it only ever helps one person, I'm fine with that. Yeah, my Toyota makes a lot of noise. It wants to be a diesel. Anyway, uh, if you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, post them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, stay safe and enjoy.